So, so far this semester we've looked at a pretty wide variety of moral theories. Now, um, at this point, we're going to ask the question of, you know, does morality depend upon religion? One way of thinking about whether morality depends upon religion is whether the truth of some ethical theory depends upon the truth of some religion. Right? That's one way to try to understand dependence. Another way is, uh, does our knowledge of morality depend upon our knowledge of a particular religion? Right? That's another way to think about dependence. Another way to think, think about it is, does the existence of morality depend upon the existence of a religion? But the question we're dealing with here is trying to figure out what, if any kind of dependence, morality has upon a religion. So one of the classic arguments in dealing with this kind of dependence, or wondering what this kind of dependence is, is something called the Euthyphro Dilemma. And it's called Euthyphro, uh, named after the person with whom uh, Socrates is having a conversation about this. So um, the Euthyphro Dilemma starts off really simple. You know, he's asking the question, um, is what is moral, moral because the gods command it? Or we could just simply say the divine. If you don't want to talk about the existence of God, you could simply say it this way. Say, is what is moral, moral, because the divine commands it? Or, does the divine command it because it's moral? So, if it's the first one, right, so the, the two possibilities. Either it's moral because the divine commands it, or the divine commands it because it's moral. Right, so, let's try the first one. It's moral because the divine commands it. Okay. So what is this supposed to mean? Well, there's a couple of different ways of trying to understand this. Right? One way that is that um, you know the you know we have existence, all right? We have the world, we have what's real, we have all these physical properties, and then the gods come along, the divine comes along, and then kind of adds morality on top of that. Right? Um, so you know what uh, the divine commands makes this morality. Um, another way of understanding this uh, is that um, you know you, you have you have you know what is natural. We have what is existence. There is just no morality at all, and the God simply just commands something, or the divine simply commands something. Okay. So this whole idea is that there is some kind of disconnect between uh, what is real, what's true, and then what the what the divine says. Right. Well, now if it's this option, it looks. It looks like a bad situation here if this is the case, that if the divine makes true, uh, you know, independently of what's real, makes true what is moral. All right? uh, because it looks like there's just absolutely no reason for deciding one thing or another. Um, sure, the divine, you know, with a lot of uh, faith traditions, that the divine commands say something like murder, that murder is immoral. But if there's no reason for that, um, then we'd say, well, you know, the divine could have commanded just anything. Could have commanded murder or killing, random killing to be moral. Right? The divine could have, man could have commanded, uh, you know, a variety of things regarding life. It, the divine could have commanded that it's absolutely wrong in all situations to take life, right? Any life whatsoever. Uh, the divine could have commanded that, um, you know, to take every life. Now, you might be thinking, like, well, that, that's just kind of nonsensical because there's good reasons to take life or not take life. And this is exactly the point. Yeah, if there's nothing that existed or is responsible for divine command, then it could have just been completely arbitrary. Uh, but you know, our gut instinct is that, well, there's really good reasons for what is moral. Right? There's really good reasons for why... Uh, you know, this or that is morally immoral. We've seen lots of varieties of, of how to explain that with these different ethical theories. Uh, and so this is exactly the point. It's like we don't think morality is arbitrary. We think that there is good reason. But if there's already good reason, independent of what the divine commands, then it can't be that option. There has to be reason for why the, demand, the divine commands what the divine commands. Like, okay, good. But then this is the second option, that the divine commands it because it is good. But if the divine commands it because it is good, it looks like it's good regardless of what the divine commands. Right? So, randomly killing strangers. There's really good reason not to do that. But that doesn't necessarily mean that some divinity wouldn't command it. 
uh, you know, if divinities are anything like people, you know, there are many times when people have <laughs> commanded uh, killing others for no good reason, but that doesn't mean it's moral. Right? It looks like the standard of what is moral is independent of what the divine command is. So either way you go here, I mean, either you say that what is moral is moral because the divine commands it, then you get this weird notion that morality is arbitrary, and we don't want to accept that. The other way that we can go is to say that uh, the divine commands it because it is moral. It's like, okay, uh, we, you know, we would like to go that way, but then it looks like what is moral is independent of divine command.